Oh good, you're here. Thanks for coming. Now I call this video the little things because not everything I do is a fun creative project here in the shop or one of the bigger ones I do outdoors. In fact, this is my next project. It's not even part of this video. There are a lot of smaller tasks, some of which need to be dealt with right away. I usually wedge these in between or sometimes in the middle of my bigger projects. Now they're not always as fun and exciting as the big projects, but I still enjoy doing them. I love going outside every day, well almost every day, and doing stuff. Sir Isaac Newton said, a body in motion stays in motion, and a body at rest stays at rest. I intend to stay in motion just as long as I can, and I'm hoping my videos will help inspire you to do the same. Now let's get back to work. Before I go, come and check this out. Well, I gotta tell you, I really scored here. I got a friend who knows how much I love salvaging material, and he's got a friend who had all these old wooden windows around, but he's moving, so he had to get rid of them. Now, you know I've been promising to rehab that raggedy old greenhouse for a while now, and these are gonna be just the thing for it. Look at those, aren't those beautiful? Now, they're in decent condition. They're gonna take a little rehabbing themselves, though. But that's really just part of the fun. Now I'm so excited to get started on the greenhouse, but I have several projects I gotta take care of first. So I'm gonna have to be a little patient. I noticed a dead tree at the front of the property, so I wanna get rid of it today. It's just kind of unsightly. Now it's not a real big tree, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it with a little electric chainsaw. Uh, and I don't know if I'm gonna need it or not, but I'll bring the pole extension. Now I checked it and it seems to be sharp enough, so I'm not gonna worry about that. We'll just head out and get it done. I already tossed the extension cords in. And I want to bring my truck because since it's all the way at the front of the property, I'll probably just cut it into larger pieces, load them in the truck instead of trying to drag the wagon back and forth a bunch of times. I'll bring it back here and somehow get everything back onto the burn pile. Well, here's some string trimmers next door. It sounds like the landscapers are there, so I'm not the only one making noise out here today, but I'll do the best I can. The tree's right over here. Look at that, this big branch here is all the way back to this tree. I guess I trimmed some of them back before, so I'll start by taking this off. That way I can get the tree down and put everything into my truck. First thing I gotta do is roll out my extension cords. <laughs> It sounds like they got a leaf blower going now. Well, I'll just keep going in here, making my own noise. It's hung up in all the other trees. It's gonna take a little pulling to get it down. Paul Bunyan, but I told you it wasn't a very big tree. last piece Got a lot of noise going on we might as well just go ahead and drive these back to the back get them onto the burn pile and that'll be it for this little project Of 
hours. <laughs> now it's quiet. That's the last of it. You can see how the burn pile just keeps growing. Happens every year. Anyway, another little project done, another task done. I couldn't be happier. Now I guess, once again, move on to the next thing. Diane just came in and told me that she was over putting something in the red barn and it sounded like there was water running in the garden. So there shouldn't be any irrigation going right now. Let's go have a look. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. That's really on. See what it looks like on this side here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It rested right through the side of that tee. It finally broke through. I'm really glad that we were home when this happened. I think I've got the right piece for that. So I go shut this water off. I get my fitting, a couple of wrenches, see if I can get that fixed up. Got a valve right here next to where I keep the camper. And this, see that in there? That. That's what goes to the garden. There we go, that way. Okay, and the water's off, so it's not spraying. But I gotta get that fixed because with the water shut off, that's shut off to the whole garden. I'm not gonna be able to, my automatic irrigation isn't gonna work. So let's deal with that right now. I'm sure I have the part, and I know I have the wrenches. All right, this should be everything I need. Pipe wrenches, pipe thread sealant, Teflon tape, and a T. Now I want to be real careful here because this pipe here goes down into a PVC, a plastic pipe fitting. So I don't want this to turn at all. That's why I have the two wrenches. Now, first of all, I want to get this top faucet out. And now here's something I learned from an old plumber a thousand years ago. Not a thousand years, I'm not that old, <laughs> but long ago. Put some Teflon tape on there and a little bit of the pipe thread compound, commonly called pipe dope. Since I started doing that, and it's been a lot of years, I've had really good luck avoiding any kind of a leak. This thread seal is pretty old, so it's a little hard to get it on here. It's almost as thick as putty. <laughs> I think it's time to replace that can there. I think if this was gas pipe I was working on, I'd get some new stuff to replace it. <laughs> But with a gas pipe, if it leaks, you might have a fire and explosion. If this leaks, some water comes out. So I would be a lot less worried about this than I would be with gas pipe. And there it is. Now I'll go turn the water back on, make sure nothing leaks. We're back on track. Pretty easy fix. All right, here we go. <laughs> Turn the valve on again. It's really fascinating content, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks for sticking around for this. There you go, valve's on, the little lid on there. Back to the garden. All right, here we go. The water's back on. It's a moment of truth. All right, looks good to me. Nothing's really spraying out of there. Well, we do have a little, a little bit of leak coming down there. I'm gonna <laughs> tighten it a bit. I don't know why that's leaking. It shouldn't be. So much for the old plumber's method of not having a leak. Well, I've definitely got some water coming out of there. I'm going to have to recheck that. Take it off, shut the water off, undo it, try it again. All right, well, I got the water off. I'll take that off of there and see why it's leaking. I've never had this problem. Usually water pipes, Teflon tape, little pipe dope, 100% infallible. I know, my fault. It's almost always user errors. The threads look okay. But I'll do what I should have done in the first place. Take my little wire brush and clean this old stuff off. Really, I never get these leaks like this. I think it's because you're here watching me. When I'm all alone, it works perfect. It's really embarrassing, I gotta tell you. But 
I'm not editing out the bad parts. Whatever I'm doing, whatever happens, you're seeing it. I also tightened it a lot more than I normally would. I really don't want this to fail a second time. Water back on, I'll come back and check. Can't tell yet, I'll give it some time. But I will say, if it's leaking now, then there's some problem in here somewhere. It's either a problem with the fitting or a problem with this pipe here. I just don't know. It's getting late, it's after six. I wanted to get this done and go inside and have some dinner, but not till it's ready. Well, it looks like I still do have a little bit of a leak. It's running really slow, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on. Well, it'll be fine overnight. I'll be able to irrigate now. It'll run in the morning like on this regular schedule. Tomorrow, I'll dig it up, I'll replace this piece of pipe and if it's still leaking, I'm going to have to replace the T too. Well, that was definitely disappointing. I would love to have just had that be fixed. But um, like I said, I could have easily edited that out. But um, I want to be straight with you guys. It doesn't always go perfect. I'm willing to show my failures as well as my successes. But anyway, should be easy fix tomorrow. But I think I said that today too. And then there's the oddball things that happen. We had a delivery today and a pretty big truck came in and um, apparently he twisted this branch around and knocked it down. <laughs> so I got to roll on all my cords just to get my electric cutter because my manual pole, so I took the blade off it and really only used a little pruning shear on it. So just a huge production, just to cut off one little branch here, maybe another one over there. There we go. All right, <laughs> that'll do it. I just gotta haul them. I guess I'll drag them back to the burn pile. That thing is growing faster than you can imagine. All right, burn pile, here we come. So a couple of weeks ago when I got back to the dump, I noticed that one of the tail lights here on what we affectionately call the trash trailer wasn't working. Now, I got my little electrical tester and I did discover that I had 12 volts here. At least I did when it was plugged into the truck, but the light wasn't working. I tried a new bulb. I tried everything I could. I couldn't get it to work. So I just went over to Amazon and I got some new lights. These are nice LED lights. They're all sealed for water. So these should last a lot longer. Now I know this is the right one for this side because this is where the license plate goes and it has this clear light on the bottom. The way it works is it has these, <laughs> the way it works, has these two little slots where those bolts slide into. And then the license plate goes in between the light and the bracket. So we just slide these, hopefully, hopefully it fits right. Just gonna slide that onto there. And it came with all the nuts and bolts and mounting hardware. So each side has a washer and a lock washer. A little nut that goes on there. Looking over here. Another way to know it's the right side. All the wires are the right colors. I did not connect the ground wire to this bolt here. And without that, it's just not going to work. Slides on there. It's so simple. I forget the simple things about it. I'm going to get it snug so it won't come loose. Get this thing called plastic. So I don't want to get it so tight that it breaks the plastic um, of the light here. All right. Looks good so far. Now the light came with these tiny little, tiny little wire nuts. Now I don't like that for this kind of a thing. I like using these, they're called little crimp connectors. It's plastic on the outside and on the inside there it has like a little hollow tube. You slide the wires in and you squish it all together with the crimpers. <laughs> technical talk. I ho hope I'm not too technical for you here today. And I also want to be sure and put the brown wire to the brown wire and the yellow wire to the yellow wire. It's pretty simple really. This slide in here. I'm going to make sure I get it into a little metal connector there. Crimp it down. Make sure it's good and tight in there. All right. Beautiful. Put the same over on this side. See, pretty simple stuff. Not exactly rocket science. There we go. I'm going to want to tie this wire up a little bit. I got a lot of extra slack here. I get some cable ties and pull it together and fasten it underneath there later. Anyway, that's side one. Like I said, 
not really rocket science. It's just one of those little little things that pop up that distracts me from my bigger projects I'm always working on. But it keeps life fun and it keeps life interesting. Okay, this side is pretty much the same, except there's no license plate. Slide those on there. I gotta be careful, because if I let go of these bolts, they fall out the bottom of the slots. Once I get them in here, I'm okay. This time I'll remember the little white ground wire <laughs> the first time around. <laughs> Looks like I already knocked them in the little nuts off of there. It's gotta be right down there. I, I hope I can find it. So I'm kinda in the jungle here. I just don't feel like moving the trailer for such a short little bit of inconvenience. Couldn't have gone far, far. I just can't find it. <laughs> Sometimes it's not quite as simple as it looks. All right, I'm gonna go back to the shop, see if I can find a replacement for it. I'm sure I have one in there, and I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> All right, I got it. Either way, it makes me look a little goofy. I just hadn't taken this off the tailgate where it was sitting with the others. Snug these up, just like we did before. Okay, same thing here. I'm gonna see if I can get a hold of a uh, cable tie. But the next thing I wanna do, is, and I'm not even 100% sure this is necessary because it's not a boat trailer. It's not going to be going into the lake or something, but it's still out in the weather. So I'm going to take a little silicone seal, seal up those ends here where I crimped it. All right, there we go. Now I'll go seal up the other side. I'll go run back to the shop quick, like get some cable ties, get these tied up out of the way. Because if I forget, it's bound to hang up on something, yank the wires loose. I'll be back where I started. All right, that looks good. Get the cable ties, strap them up. Another pretty easy job finished. There we go, that'll do it. Right, see, what I, see what I can strap this to here. <laughs> I'm ending up getting silicone seal on my hands anyway. <laughs> Not that big a deal, I guess. <laughs> my fingers are so slippery, I can hardly pull this little plastic cable tie. Snip off those ends. I go over to the other side. And then I really will be done, aside from the testing. <laughs> All right, see what we can do here. That side went well. All right, easy enough. Now, so far so good. And I'll pull my truck around to the front. I'll plug in the uh, trailer connector and see if this works. Looks good. That one too, but you already knew that. <laughs> no, I got a stick I can wedge on my brake pedal to see that the brake lights work. All right, sticks in the brake lights. That one works. And that one. It'd be helpful that you could just tell me so I wouldn't have to walk all the way back here. But I guess that won't really work out. Okay, now turn the cadence. Awesome. And there we go, success. <laughs> I will shut this off, unhook, and um, see what's next. I finally have some plums that are about ready to pick. Now I haven't had a whole lot of luck in the orchard, but I finally got some plums here on the plum tree. Now there aren't a whole lot of them, but I'm just so excited to have anything. Some of them aren't quite ripe, but I'm gonna have to pick them now and ripen them on the counter, otherwise the birds will get them. Now this bucket's a little overly optimistic, but it's the only clean one I had. I have the smaller one to use, and I'll dump it into the big one when it's full. See that? The birds got that one, then it kind of shriveled up and went away. Alright, I got some up there higher. I'm going to have to get a ladder for those. ladder's a bit overkill too, but it's what I got. Right. 
gonna take a look in there. It's a little hard to see them. I'm certainly not ready to open a fruit stand, but this is a decent haul compared to what I'm used to. I've had maybe one or two in the past, so I'll be happy, happy with this. We'll just take them inside, let them ripen on the counter, and put them in the fridge and eat them as we go. Oh yeah, I guess I should put the ladder away. That's a little hard to manage. I've got a couple of small branches I need to trim off today. One of them is hanging right in front of the carport and it's gotten low enough now that when we pull the Lexus in and out, it kind of brushes the roof. And the other was right next to the house where we parked the Camry. Now that one's not hitting the Camry yet, but it's all kind of hanging so low now that I have to duck a little bit to get underneath it. And that's not really that big a deal, but I'm afraid that if we get a winter storm with a bunch of snow, it could take that branch off and land on the car. So obviously that one's got to go. I'm going to use my little electric chainsaw, of course. I'll put it on the pole. It's not real dull right now, but it's just a lot easier to use when it's real sharp. Now one of the really great things about my little electric chainsaw is with such a short bar, there just aren't that many teeth to file, so it goes pretty quick. There we go. That was easy enough. We'll pop that on the pole and go out and get to work. That looks pretty good for there. I'll move the Camry out of the way and trim those branches that are hanging down over by it. bench it would destroy this bench that's pretty heavy all right well that looks pretty good in any event it's all I can reach so I guess it's time to haul the stuff back to the burn pile
Well, that's it, at least for this trimming project. You can see the giant pile I made here. That'll get tossed on in the summer or springtime when I'm burning. And you can see the burn pile itself just keeps getting bigger and bigger. But it's starting to look good at the house. And after all the dragging and raking and carting away, the place looks pretty good. Now, we definitely lost a little shade, but I had to get those branches away from the house. But it's all cleaned up. It's looking fantastic now. So I guess I'll call it a day. Another project done.